Hello everybody. Welcome back to Thrifty and Nifty Ideas. It's Friday here and it's cold and it's raining outside. So I do not like the cold and I do not like the rain. So kind of cheer me up. I thought I'd take something into work today uh, for me and my co-workers. And uh, what I have is a pumpkin dip. And I don't really like pumpkin. I'm not a huge fan of pumpkin. But uh, this is combined with a couple other ingredients. So it's not really a pumpkin-y taste, but it's really, really good. And I just serve this with ginger snaps. I got the great value kind. You can get whatever kind you want. This is just a really nice, super easy dip to make. And it is so good. Mmm, that is yummy. So, let me show you how easy it is to make this. Well, I finish gnawing on this cookie. Let me get this out of the way. All right. Super, super easy to make. <clears throat> You're going to need a can of pumpkin. I got the great value kind because it's cheaper than the other brands. And we're just going to dump that on into there. Get all of that yumminess out of there. Ugh, pumpkin even stinks. I don't, I don't like the smell of pumpkin at all. But like I said, once we mix this with some other stuff, it's not going to be too pumpkin-y. Then we are going to need a 5.1 ounce package of Great Value or any brand you want. You can get the Jell-O brand, vanilla instant pudding, and pie filling. Guys, this is so easy to make. Literally, only takes a couple minutes to do. And we're going to dump that on in there. Then we're just going to give that a good old stir. Oh. Lord, I swear I cannot cook anything, make anything, craft anything without making a mess. Alright, that's stirred in there real good. And this takes a few seconds to do. Because that kind of thickens that pot filling up when you add that pudding. Alright, that mixed in real good. Out of work. Next up, whip topping. Gonna use the whole container. When you put this in, and you start to kind of fold it in, you want to be a little gentle because you don't want that fluffiness of the whip topping to unfluff, I guess she would say. I would say anyway. So let's get that whole container in there. All right. Now. See if I can do this without making a huge mess. Probably not. I got to go into work here in a couple hours. So I thought this would just be a really fast cheap snack to take in. This takes a minute to do too because like I said you want to be a little gentle with that whip topping. This is going to try my patience. We'll go a little faster than that. Do, 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 do. This is the boring part here, getting that all stirred in. Oh my gosh. It's alright, we're getting there. We'll go just a little faster. I am such an impatient person. 
All right, let's just go even faster. I don't think you want to wash three minutes of me stirring this stuff. Okay. Anyway, you get that stirred up really good. See it's starting to lighten in color a little bit. Put that whipped topping. And this is perfect to take into any kind of office parties, potlucks. Like I said, it's cheap, but it's really super tasty. And if you don't like pumpkin, but you want to take in something kind of, you know, for the fall or holiday party for Christmas, this is perfect because that pudding and whipped topping mix in there so well it doesn't really taste like pumpkin that much. And there you have it. That's pretty good. A couple more stirs and I'll transfer this over. And you want to keep this cold. You want to refrigerate this for about 30 minutes before you're going to serve it. Just to let it set up a little bit more and let all those flavors combine good. So, all right, that's pretty good. Pretty good for the mixing. So I'm going to transfer this over into the bowl I'm going to be serving it in. And I got my little snowman bowl I'll be taking in two. Let's get that all in there. And you can serve this with the ginger snaps like I'm taking in. Or you could do snickerdoodle cookies would be good with this. Vanilla wafers. Anything like that would be perfect with this. Alright. There we go. Like I said this is so good, so tasty, so cheap to make. I think you guys really like this one. And uh, I think my co-workers will like it today too. So try this. Thank you for watching this super easy, super thrifty pumpkin dip. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.